One of the important questions that I've been asking of the fossil record is uh, what were insects and plants doing before angiosperms arrived? That is flowering plants. And so one of the ways of uh, trying to understand that question is actually to look at the deposits that would provide evidence for insects and plants existing and interacting with one another before angiosperms arrived, which is roughly 120 million years ago. Most of the dinosaurs that we have in this museum came from this thing called the Morrison Formation. And the Morrison Formation covers a huge swath of the western interior of North America all the way from Canada to the Mexican border. So it is an extensive formation of late Jurassic age that contains all these famous dinosaurs. And I thought, surely they have plants and insects. So one of the places that I went to was western North America. But when I looked uh, out in the field, in places like Utah and Wyoming, all I could find was plant hash and an occasional uh, insect part. I must have looked for these plant fossils in six or seven major museums, major collections that people sent to me. For about seven or eight years, I was totally unsuccessful. I could not find anything. At about 2004, I got a uh, email from a colleague of mine, and he sent me some photos of some amazing insects that were of mid-early Cretaceous age and middle Jurassic age. And they basically had the things that I was looking for. And I said to myself, amazing, here I was, spending seven or eight years of my life in the western interior of North America looking for probably what was a needle in a haystack. And then, meanwhile, in China were all these fossils that basically solved the entire question. And I was just totally flabbergasted. It says that a lot of science is serendipitous. You know, here it is, all along in northeastern China, what I was looking for in North America. <laughs>